Cubase 8 enhances your workspace experience through new options for handling of windows, plugins, and direct routing. Cubase Pro 8 introduces a new Windows handling paradigm. Windows can be freely placed on any display and maximized, restored, minimized, tiled, and cycled through using standard Windows OS commands. The Windows OS will also group Cubase windows in the taskbar, preview window content, and show mini icons. The Always on Top mode now organizes smaller plug-in windows even when working with maximized windows such as the Mix Console. The workspace's functionality has been simplified and changed for better usability. Workspaces now have their own main menu. You can switch between workspaces right from this menu. or open the Organize menu for more options. Global workspaces are shown in the top section. And project-specific workspaces are listed below. When you create a new workspace, you can decide if it's global or specific to the current project. You can now add a new workspace with one click, then simply name it and file it as you wish. Recalling a workspace always restores it the way you created it. And to modify an existing workspace, you can simply use the update function. Another workspace enhancement is that Media Bay and the VST instrument rack can now be displayed to the right side of the project window. Open the window layout tool and activate the racks pane. There are tabs here for VST Instruments and Media Bay. The Media Bay tab gives you direct access to the essential elements of Media Bay right from the project window. This allows you to navigate Media Bay without having to open and close multiple windows. You can navigate the folder structure. You can enter and clear search terms. You have built-in controls for filtering, and you have direct access to the column heading section and setup. On the VST Instruments tab, you can quickly add both track instruments and rack instruments. You can unfold the quick controls for each of those instruments and you can shift the remote control focus. If you right click here, you can open the remote control editor directly. You have direct access to each instrument's editor. And you can even click through presets with these arrow controls. If you click on the instrument's name, you can swap it for another plug-in or unload it from the rack if it's no longer needed. Another enhancement to make plug-ins easier to work with is the Plug-in Manager on the Devices tab. These days, most of us have dozens, if not hundreds of plug-ins on our systems. Plugin Manager gives you the tools to help sort and group these into collections so that you can spend less time searching and more time creating. The Plugin Manager has one tab for effects and one tab for VST instruments. And to the right, you can see the default collection. Let's say we want to create a collection of our favorite effects for a specific client. Either drop down the User Collections icon or 
right-click in the Collections area and select New Collection. Let's start with an empty collection and name it My Favorites. Now, drag in the effects or instruments that you want to have included. By default, they'll be removed from the list as you drag them over to help keep straight what's included in your new collection. But you can click on this icon to toggle the view between all plugins and just those that you've not included. To see this in action, let's open a channel settings editor and add an insert effect. And our usual long list of plugins has been trimmed down to just the favorites. If you want to access another collection, like the default collection, which contains every plugin on your computer, simply open up the Select Collections menu and switch. The Plugin Manager will also switch to the same selection automatically. You can remove a collection by switching to it and then selecting Delete Collection. And don't worry, you won't accidentally delete or remove any plugins by doing this. You're only deleting the list or collection. The default collection can't be edited, so you can always find what you're looking for there. And Cubase automatically updates your list of plugins on every startup, so the plugin manager is always up to date. Cubase 8 Pro helps you optimize connection efficiency with the new direct routing section found in the Mix Console. Click on the Select Racks tool and enable direct routing. Now, at first glance, this looks very similar to the routing rack, but look closer. The basic routing rack allows you to set a single output destination for that track. And in a typical music production environment, this would most likely be your stereo output bus. By comparison, the direct routing option allows you to send each track to as many as eight different output buses at once. Configure those output buses using the VST Connections window as usual. In this example, we have output buses for stereo, mono, and surround, plus a second stereo mix set up as a music-only stem. Now, I can add all of those output destinations to a track using the Direct Routings rack then simply click on them to activate and deactivate the signal flow. This has obvious advantages for complex monitor setups, but it also greatly speeds up the export process. Open the file menu and select Export Audio Mixdown. Now, if we enable Batch Channel Export and select all of our output buses, we can generate all four mixdowns simultaneously. Less time re-exporting means more time being creative. Download Cubase 8 today and put creativity first.